Hello everybody, welcome back to Professor Layton in the Diabolical Box. I'm player two. I'm player one. And today I have a joke for you. What is a chef's favorite spell? What? I cast iron. <laughs> like and subscribe. Please laugh. I used the last two brain cells on that button. Please, please just laugh. Please. Last time. Please. I don't have much. We've, just give me this. We've we've been going through droppy stony. We've heard pray tell about Mr. Anderson. So we're going to find that man. Mr. Anderson. Give me your drink. Alright. Going over here. Wow, we look at the size of that mansion. I bet you could get lost in there. It is impressive to say the least. I'm sure that massive manor belongs to Mr. Anderson. So that's where Inspector Chummy and his assistant went, right? I'd like to see this place myself. Can we go take a look? No, for now I think our best course of action is to gather what information we can in the village. Besides, I imagine the Andersons have their hands full with the two guests they currently have. <laughs> That, that guy reminds me of some of someone. He does. Like a cross between that one fat dude from Lilo and Stitch and Guy Fieri. Gabe. No. Hey. 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 It should do it. Good afternoon. What the fuck are you doing? Me. Yeah, I'm just doing a little fish in this here lake. Sounds like a lot of work. You had much luck? Actually, that's a good question. Now I think about it, how many have I catch today? Okay, okay, puzzle. You've cast a large net out in the pond to catch some fish. Every part of the net is in the water except for the two ends, which you're holding in your hands, as shown below. The pond surface is small, but it's actually wider underwater, so parts of your sunken net aren't visible from your surface. Assuming there are no tears in the net, and that its rim is constructed of a single length of rope that ends on the shore, how many of the fish visible in the pond will you snare when you pull the net back up? Okay. Hang on. Let me... Let me... One... Two... Three... Four... Five... Six, seven, seven. There's, there's seven fish. Yeah, there's seven. job drawing that net. Yeah. You said one, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Oh. Yeah, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Let's see if this works. You're a fucking genius! Piece of cake! Piece of cake! That's seven more of your brethren for me to feed on. Oh. Why is man sleeping? Because he tired. <laughs> what the hell? And that half feast like cake. Oh yeah, I... Oh, who the fuck? His assistant, I assume. No, that's not who his assistant is. I don't know who this is. Remy. <laughs> uh, Professor, I think this fellow fell here fell asleep standing up. 
Judging by his uniform, he must be a security guard. I wonder how his employer feels about his nap. Please confirm identity birth of an Sleep puzzle. Oh boy, here we go again. Three rope loops are tangled together with a single red rope. If you were to pull both ends of the red rope, a single knot would form in the middle. Can you figure out how many of the rope loops would get caught in this knot when it forms? Even if a loop appears to have been pulled into the knot, you shouldn't count it in your answer if you can pull the loop free of the red rope with a tug. Oh, this... oh no. Oh no. So, I don't think it gets the blue at all. No, blue's clear. So, so far I see one, two, three... If it can three. be cleared with a tug, that means, means green is the only one. Green is the only one? Yes, green is the only one. So, how many of the rope loops? So, two... Oh look, single single digit, so that's not a Consider this puzzle solved. One. Consider this puzzle solved. All three? No, it's not Consider how many ropes, solved. it's It's not how many ropes, it's how many like bits. I think it might be four. four. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Consider this puzzle solved. Okay, well then five. <laughs> this puzzle uh, solved. Nope. Zero? Consider this puzzle solved. Z zero. And there we have it. Huh. It it goes it goes like that. O okay. All right. Poinkin, poinkin. Must be some kind of mad puzzle genius to be able to talk about them in his sleep. Hello, Chelmy. Oh, suspect a Chelmy. <laughs> Hello, Inspector. Are you returning from the Anderson estate? <laughs> I don't know what you what you get where you get your information, Layton, but you are the sly as a fox. As a matter of fact, I was just there. The servants did. But the servant said that Mr. Anderson himself wasn't home. This is the bloke was off presiding over some livestock competition. A likely story, I'm sure. I'm curious. What connection do you see between Mr. Anderson and the case you're investigating? Not that it's any of your business, but perhaps you can be a bit of help. I heard rumors the bloke had ties to find. I'd tried to find the Elysium box in the past, so I went to talk to him. So I got to his house, his butler told me he wasn't home and that I should leave. Can you believe it? I bet you a tenor he's just pretending to be out. I went out of my way to see the man. At least he could do is offer me a proper cup of coffee. But why would Mr. Anderson be interested in the Elysium box in the first place? It's anyone's guess, Luke. We won't know more until we can ask him in person. I guess we'd better head over to the livestock competition that Mr. Anderson is judging. <laughs> Fine. Let the blasted block judges. Precious livestock competition, then. I won't be there. 
far as I'm concerned, the whole thing is a frivolous distraction for the rich. Speaking of which, I assume his obsession with the box stems from the excess of time and money he has on his hands. If you see anything that might help this investigation, report it to me straight away, you hear? We are always happy to cooperate, Inspector. Now please excuse us. So off you go. Come along, Barton. We've got work to do. Oh, okie dokie, sir. That man's having an affair with his right hand, isn't he? Yes. Mm. They are gay. What how his wife feels about that. Right, he does have a wife. I forgot. You better hurry back to the competition grounds. I'm going to tell his wife. Alright. Let us go. Oh. Hello? Shifty eyes? He looks like Sid the Sloth, but human. Boy, oh boy, I'm in a tight spot. I wanted to make a clean cut in this board, but I botched it kinda bad. It's pretty much useless as is. Can you think of a way to turn the pieces into a square? Board splitter one. Oh boy, here we go. Oh no. Da -da -da -da. Two pieces. Rejoin these pieces to form a square. Assuming you aren't allowed to flip either of the pieces over once the board is cut, where should you make the cut? Okay. So gotta make a perfect square. I like that's real I'd make. The cut. So, one. But you can do it like... Like, like that. I mean, you make it square, right? Yes. So I assume there's got to be like a insertion into this, right? So... What's your logic here? None. I have now turned my head sideways, because I feel like... Well, no, we're making a square, we're not making a rectangle. This would be easier if we knew how long a side was. Because I don't think it's five. You've got nine pieces and eight pieces. Means we have 17 pieces. We have 17 pieces? Wait, no, we have 16. All squares are rectangles, not all rectangles are squares. Is that how that goes? Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, no, 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 no. We, we, have, we, we have 16. Six, yeah, we have 16. My bad. I counted the. So then each side would be four. Wait. Wait. Why is this hard to think about? We're thinking about this too much. <laughs> I 
No, wait. Take that part, slide it over one, slide it down. You're right. You are correct. You are correct. You were thinking about it too hard. This should do the trick. Huh. Wonderful. Easier than it looks, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, then that did the trick. I'm back and doing that shit. That's a woman. That's a woman? That's a skirt. That's a woman. It's also got boobs. That's a woman? Got a camera pot. Bing bing bong bing bling bing bloom. Right? I don't think that's overlapping. It seems right. Oh wait, no, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Hmm. Is that the flash? I'm doubly stupid. It does not go there. Gatito. Gatito. Okay. And we're back. My goodness, look at this place. Phew, we made it back in time to catch the competition. If we've been informed correctly, Mr. Anderson is judging the entries. So he should be somewhere around here, right? Indeed. I wonder which of the gentlemen walking around here is our man. Looks like there are two men over there getting a pretty hot under the collar about something. I wonder what the matter is. <laughs> Just look at that mangy coat. Hey, one with two eyes can see that's no bovine of mine. I know what's gone down here. Someone swapped out my car, for, my cow for this lemon. We will be what we to do about it, boss. Can you at least point out which cow is yours? How do you expect me to do that? Oh brother, this is gonna get ugly. What seems to be the problem, Saz? Well, this fellow here is convinced someone swapped out his prize cow for another. I'm telling you, that ain't no cow of mine. My girl was perfect from horns to tail. See what I mean? There's just no reasoning with him. We can start the contest with them carrying on, but I don't know how we can clear up the situation. I'll take care of this. I bet cows would know. Any monkey business. I bet the cows would know if there's any monkey business that went on. Of course. Why didn't I think of that myself? I'll leave this one to you, Luke. Excuse me, miss. Can you help us out here? I swear to God. If it tells me Luke can talk to animals... What, you can't? I see. Bullshit. Literally. Moo Moo. Did you find out anything of use? Sure I did. I had to sum up a conversation with something like this. It's another puzzle! Misinformation. Five cows are grazing at the festival. Two of them are true moo cows, a breed that only tells the truth. Oh, brother. The other three are no way cows, a different variety that always lies. Using the following statements, mark all the no way cows. Okay. D is a no way, I promise. C isn't a true moo. A is not a no way. E is a no way. B is not a true moon. These hurt my brain. Okay, so let's just do this. 
bit by bit. So if two of them, if only two of them are true, right? Let's say A and B are true. D is a no way. And C is a no way. So then if they're all lying, A would be true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. B is definitely not a true move. Yeah. Wait. There's three. It's, it's literally just A and B. There's three uh, true moves. Wait. No, hang on, hang on. There's there's two true moves. Yeah, sorry. There's two true moves and three no ways. D is a true move, I promise. Okay, okay. And C isn't a true move, is what you're is no, no, things no, no. you think are no, true. No. So if A and B are true moves, mm -hmm. D is a no way, C is a no way. Mm -hmm. If C is lying, that means A would be a no way. Okay, never exactly. Mind. Never mind. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Okay, let's go down the line. B and C are truthful, so that means C is a no way. And that means A is a true move. So then D is lying. That E is a no way. And and E is lying. That B is a true move. And then A is lying. That D is a no way. Wait, what am I? This shit is so dumb. Why would I say B and C would be true? Because if they were both true, B literally says... B says C, C is, is true. A true. Why would I, why would I do that combination? Let's do the next one that could actually work. C and okay, D. Okay, okay. Save real quick, I have an idea. C and E. C and E? C and E. C and E are true. Yes, C and E are true. Save. I did. Okay. Just leave it to me. No. I thought... I thought maybe they would've tried to trick us, cause... C and E look similar, while A, B, and C look more similar to each other. Okay, let's try C and D. So, C, C and D, right? Truthfully, A... Wait, no. If C is telling the truth, then A would be right. Okay, so let's try C and A. Okay, so if C and A are true, C is saying that A is true, A is saying that D is false, B is lying that C is not true, okay, so that works, D is l saying that E is true. Yeah, but E is saying B is definitely not a true mo. No, because C... If A and C were telling were telling the truth and the others were always lying, D is lying that E is a no way. And so then, that means E would be true. So it can't be A and C. I hate these. Let's do D. Let's do D and B. So if B is true, then C is a no way. If D is true, then E is a no way. If A is lying, D is true. Mm -hmm. If C is lying, then A is a no way. 
And then if E is lying, okay, it's it's B and D. It's B and D, it's B and D. Just leave it to me. God, I hate these. Maiden's apprentice strikes again. <sighs> Ah, looks like these two cities swap places while waiting for the competition to start. This thing should be all sorted now, though. Oh, you betcha. Look at that build, that last year's coat. That soulful gaze, as Markow no doubt. So everything's okay by you? Better than okay, kid. With my darling back, I'm a shoe in for that blue ribbon. Thanks. Wow, well, Luke. You sure have a way with animals. Ah, it's nothing, really. Look over here, you two. They're about to announce the winner. And the winner for this year's Dropstone Dairy Crown is... Oh. Oscar. Oscar Show-Stopping Milk Maven, Mutilda! Also known as your mother. Hold on now, you mean to tell me my sweet Maramu didn't take first place? You might just go up to your cow back, Clabber. If you'd get quiet, you'd be the winner, eh? I was robbed! The competition must have been rigged! Rigged, I tell ya! You think he went through all that trouble to get his cow back? And ended up losing because of it. Yes. I suppose it goes to show that things in life don't always go as planned. Right you are, Professor. Say, should Mr. Anderson be around here somewhere? It's going to take some effort to find him in a crowd this dense. Let's look around a bit. Luckily, okay, there's three of us, right, wouldn't, Flora? Wouldn't it have been this guy? Flora? Flora, oh, where'd you go? Oh, she's gone. Flora, no! <laughs> Hey, uh, you ever heard of the old saying, clothes, the clothes make the man? Well, from the looks of your dots, I say you've got your act together. So try this puzzle off of size. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Change yeah. the clothes. Men. A, B, and C. Each started off with pants and shirts of a single color. A wore red, B wore blue, and C wore white. Then they were blindfolded and swapped items of clothing. After they took off their blindfolds, here is what they said. No one's shirt and pants match. Okay. C's the only one of us who didn't keep any of his original clothes. I don't know if I like these red pants. Okay. So. And so, C didn't keep any of his original clothes, so that means he don't had- Don't forget shoes. He had to have- No. It's just shirt and pants. So that means this has to be C. So then... And then A and B kept one of their original clothes. So then... He kept one of his original clothes, and it has to be his shirt, then he gets... Give him... Give a... Yes. That's right. I believe that's right. He has the red pants. He didn't keep any of his originals, so he had to add the blue one. They each had one of their originals. Okay. Oh, why did they pull us after this? this I think it was a uh, Tic Tac! I think it was one of those uh, Tic Tac challenges. No Rats on why do you hate me? I like that puzzle. That puzzle was good. Nothing goes off the deck you when your shirt and pants don't match. That's where I said rule number one. Rule number two? No one can pull off sequins. Tell that to Elvis. Fuck you, Elvis is dead. I killed him. You were in the toilet with Elvis? Who do you think sold him the drugs? Oh! 
I laced it with piss. With that sweet suit of yours, you're golden. No stanky nightclub will turn you away, I guarantee it. Swanky. I know what I said. I don't think you want a stanky nightclub. I know what I said. I guess he's not. I can't either. believe they can't believe they have balloons as large as your mother. Get it? Because I'm calling you both a cow and yes, fat. Yes, yes. She also smells like fish. Well, does that make your mother a whale? How have you kept the same bit for over a year? It's funny. Without fail, over a year, the same bit. You let me keep getting away with it. Okay, let me get one then. Let, let me get one. Yo mama. So fat. She's a map on Call of Duty. Jokes on you, my mom's been dead. That's the joke. Oh! <laughs> you know, at least she still looks prettier than yours. I don't even have to pay the uh, cremation fees. Nah, my universe just imploded on itself, remember? Oh, uh, to be fair, it was because you're. Mom clapped her ass cheek so hard it just popped. Okay, alright, okay. We're gonna end up here. What's wrong? Mr. Anderson, you are. Yes, what a pity. I had a feeling he'd provide us with a lead on the Elysian box. Hey there, fellows. You've never met before, have we? I heard you chatting about Mr. Anderson and thought to myself, hey, I can help. Here, I'll point him out. Oh, okay. Another puzzle! Alright. Okay. All right. I just saw Mr. Anderson around here a minute ago. Shouldn't be too hard to spot, but with that beard and hat. Okay, beard and hat. He's a weird old gentleman, and he always looks spiffy with his cane and that dapper little bow tie. Cane, bow tie. And he doesn't wear glasses, in case you're wondering. Look, there he is now. Okay. Man, upper left corner. Beard and hat. Spiffy bow tie, no glasses. Spiffy bow tie, no glasses, cane. That's a woman. That's a lady. Oh, you sexy me lady. Hear me too, nice. Should do the trick. Oinky. Hit him with the yoinky sploinky. Wonderful. Good eye. The wind tried to carry off his hat. I thought he was wearing oh. a hat. That He's just bald. 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 Good day, sir. Might you be Mr. Anderson? He looks like one of the toys from that one arc of One Piece. Oh my god, he does. Okay. The name is Herschel Layton. My friends and I have come to this fine town in search of the Elysian Box. I thought a man of such influence as yourself might be able to offer us some direction. Me, me. So you're familiar with it then? His mother! Me. Interesting. Please elaborate. Ooh. The music box. Ma. Minima. Mime. Minima. 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 Minima, me, 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 Sophia. Huh? me, 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 me,
So she made efforts of her own to search for it. Fascinating. Tell me, where might Sophia be now? She's dead. She's she's dead. I see. I'm sorry for your loss. <coughs> Not at all, Mr. Anderson. I've learned a great deal from our conversation. You have my thanks. Sir, did you catch any of what he just said? Yes. What a fine man. I can speak to animals, you can speak to... What was that, Muppet? No, Luke. He was a fraggle. You sounded like a beaker. Guess that's another dead end. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Luke. It appears this village is inextricably linked with the Elysian box. I also find Mr. Anderson's choice of words interesting. What do you suppose he meant by manamanamini, or sacrifices? Is that what that word meant? Sir, you frighten me sometimes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, Luke j can just canonically talk to animals, huh? I guess so. I fucking... I guess so. Alright. I think with that, we'll end it there. <laughs> Sir? That is that is our first two journal pages filled out of ten. And we've done 39 puzzles. Didn't the last game have 120? We're gonna be here for a good old bit. I've been player one. I've been player two. We'll see you next time when we keep going. Although, I think now we should be uh, close to chapter three. Oh. Out of seven. Oh. Bye-bye now.